Hi, um, I've been having a revision day, kind of lazy revision day, and I thought I'd make a video to help me with my revision, and I guess it can kind of help you with yours too. I'm doing biology AS level. Um, my first exam is two, three days, something really cheap, like four days away. Um, sorry, you can tell I'm tired. <laughs> I woke up early to do revision. So, um, and the topics I'm doing the biology revision on now is so stuff like the heart, um, carriage of oxygen, plants, things like that. And I was having trouble with sort of like guard cells. We've never did that before in class. And he told us yesterday that we need to do that in our exam. So I thought I'd do like a quick revision video on it just to sort of help me. Um, okay, I don't need to wear t-shirts like this. It's a lazy day, so. Okay, so I'm going to start on guard cells. So, like to photosynthesize, leaves need CO2, um, and this diffuses in through the stomata, which is down a concentration gradient. Um, however, when the stomata is open, water vapor diffuses out, um, which is down again a I know water potential gradient. So they don't want to lose too much water at the plants. Um, so they have to have adaptations in the leaves to conserve the water, and the adaptations that plant have some plants have in their leaves are the guard cells around their stoma stomata so um the stomata open and close by changes in turgidity um, of the two guard cells around it that um form each stoma so in the light these guard cells become turgid causing the stomata to open so um like when they photosynthesize in the light the chloroplasts in the guard cells produce atp and this ATP, um, like this ATP provides the energy to pump H plus ions um, out of the guard cells so they become negatively charged because the H plus ions have left. So the K plus, um, which are potassium ions, they go into, um, they move into the guard cells by facilitated, fast, sorry, I can never say that, facilitated diffusion. Um, and this reduces the water potential of the guard cells, so water moves into the guard cells by osmosis. And because the water has moved into the guard cells, that causes them to become turgid, so um, and then change shape. So this opens up the stoma, so they're really thin, and then the water comes in and they go out. Um, and that opens up the stoma between the two guard cells. And then obviously when it's not light, so they don't need to photosynthesize anymore, so no ATP is produced. Um, so there's no energy to put the H plus ions into them, so the K plus ions don't go in, so the uh, water doesn't move in by osmosis, um, so they don't, so they close because there's no water there to keep the shape up. So that is sort of like about stomata, about guard cells, and it's helped me, I don't know if it can help you at all, but I just need to revise it. So thank you and good luck with your AS Biology exam.